Hi guys, PJ here today with, well, a bit of a hardware review. There were some very, very, very cheap bargains come up on Black Friday and just like a lot of you guys, yes, I did jump in on a few of them. So what we've got here in this box is not a new item, but it was an unmistakable deal that I absolutely had to get. Now, sort of this sort of size, which gives you an idea that it's sort of controller sized yep it's a controller but this was the bargain of the century controller so let's open it up have a look what's in the box see what you get and for the money i don't know let's see if i can get on with it and there's a big big hint so let's see exactly what we get in this box well after getting past the glue which was that was really well packaged to be fair in here we have paper brilliant Yep, it's the Steam Controller. Been out quite a long time now, but the Steam Controller went on offer on Steam over Black Friday for four pounds. Yeah, four quid for a controller. That's got to be worth a gamble in anyone's book. Now, the Steam Controller, as you can see by the picture, is a bit of an odd setup. It's not traditional. It hasn't got two sticks. I don't know if I'll personally get on with it. I mean, I play mouse, keyboard, I play controller. But if you want to lay back on a PC, you're going to be using a controller. I know I use a controller quite a lot. But for the older games, such as Modern Warfare 2, that type of thing, where it's keyboard, mouse only, if you want to lay back, you're going to need a controller. This substitutes it. So let's have a look at it. It's in a nice presented pack, I must admit. It does look very, very nice. It actually has a optional carrying case, like a like a bit like the Elite controller has from uh, Xbox. It's like a proper padded case. Now those padded cases were one pound eighty. The only thing is, when I literally got to the checkout with both this and the case in the checkout in the basket, they'd sold out. I was gutted. So I ended up getting the controller, but as yet I'm still trying to get the nice case that it sits in. So absolute bargain. At the time of me recording this video, and it's currently the 3rd, yeah, 3rd of December, these are still available from Steam. The cases are not. I've already had a look on eBay and the cases are fetching like £25, so, you know, the scalpers are there sort of thing. The controller itself um, obviously works just like an Xbox controller or a DS4. It supports big picture mode. Now, for you guys, if you're a console game, a big picture mode basically tries to convert a PC into a console for Steam games. So in other words, if you're playing it on your TV and you're sitting on your couch, you can use your controller to search through the UI and get any of your games. This thing, ideal for that type of stuff. So let's open this box up, because we've got a box in a box here, and see what we've got for our four pounds. Well, technically speaking, it was 11 pounds. It was actually seven pounds shipping. So it's dearer than the, the controller. That's crazy okay so what do we have here is this stuck together yeah it's stuck on the back here open that up don't want to rip it yeah it's gonna rip oh, i hate that noise okay so it, it feels premium the packaging it's actually quite weighty so it does feel premium it doesn't doesn't feel cheap and nasty you know like some of the third party controllers that are horrendous let's get a pen pop this open yeah I should have a knife really shouldn't I handy but I haven't I've only got a pen a pen will have to do and then you wonder why your ballpoint pens don't work it's because you use them to open stuff right so it opens up like so very nice you see that there guys a bit of extra light for you hold on so that's what you get that's your controller one stick yeah there we are one stick two touch pads haptic pads okay so they have feedback now they're meant to mimic a mouse control apparently I have never ever used one of these I never got one when the first came out so this is the first time I've actually had one myself and yeah you've got paddles on the back so it's pretty well specced okay uh, you've got a USB port there in the front to either use it or to you can put AA batteries in it is my understanding 
the batteries go in this in quite a unique way on most controllers uh, like an xbox controller you've just got the, the normal flap underneath you know that you sort of pull off and, and there's your battery pack uh, this particular controller is a bit different so you've got a catch that you push across to the side the base plate complete with the triggers uh, comes off and then you actually slide the batteries in so i've got a duracell in there at the moment and when you slide them in let um, me get them the right way around like so there's a lock actually locks the battery in place so it it comes down and actually clicks over it holding the battery solidly in place it's quite a neat feature it sort of shows you know they went to a lot of trouble with the design of it and then we click the back back on and uh, there we go ready to go so like i say we're installing modern warfare 2 right now we're also going to try it with destiny something a bit newer and uh, let's see how we get on with it um it's concaved so i mean look at that look at an xbox controller oh, let's get it right way around it actually sits the other way size wise about the same a bit bigger maybe a bit chunkier triggers mm, nothing like xbox triggers what does it feel like to hold now i'm going to catch the underneath buttons i don't know it feels weird because it's forcing your thumbs down onto the pads which is probably a good thing yeah it actually feels sort of natural even though it's it's not the norm i mean a ds4 or an xbox one controller you sort of the other way with your hands this is pushing your hands down onto it but um yeah we're gonna give this a go we're gonna play some uh, games that will be more suited to this so older games I mean, it works with newer games as well. It works with absolutely anything. You could you could play any game with this. It doesn't have to be a Steam game. But, um, yeah, it's, it's got no batteries in it in the minute. It feels quality. It doesn't feel cheap and nasty. It even comes with, in the box, Duracell batteries. They're going to last, like, what, two minutes? And you have a dongle, wireless dongle, stick in your PC. Uh, what we got? We've got something else under here what's this we have this a cube with a micro usb and a full size usb different not sure what that's for yet unless we ah wait do we actually maybe not read the instructions you can tell can't you maybe that's it i don't know um we got of course manual no one ever reads manuals though, come on. It's a quick start guide. So let me fire this up, let's play some games and see what we think of it. Yeah. Well guys, I've done no setting up on the controller, so I've not configured the buttons. I'm going straight for the default. It appears the triggers are your mouse buttons and the right haptic pad is your uh, mouse as such. So this is going to take a bit of getting used to. Um, that's okay. Right, so... Yeah, the underneath buttons are your melee ability. I tell you what, you can definitely, I can tell off the bat, the response is not as quick as a mouse, so obviously you're not going to do as well. In fact, you're not going to do well at all, I don't think, until you get used to it. Now the trouble is I'm pre-programmed to be using an original controller. My, my brain is telling me there's a right stick and that I need to be using it. And of course, being a PC game, an older one like this, it's going to have cheats, yeah? A lot of cheating. It's a PC game. But, yeah, it it works, as you can see. What have we got here? Nothing on that one. Right, okay. A is jump, yeah. Swap gun. Sorry, teammates. If you're on this team, you're on a bad team with me. That's bad. Trust me. So we keep our thumb on the haptic pad and we can sort of aim. But as you can see, it's a bit glitchy, a bit... Might be the game. I mean, it's a really, really old game. I know one thing. It would take me quite a lot of getting used to this to perform quick enough to be able to kill somebody, in all honesty. It's not normal thinking. I mean, you've got to think about everything you're doing rather than it being natural. And there's the problem. It's meant to be natural, and at the moment it's not. 
you have to practice. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is first off the bat, but it, you know, specifically a game you play mouse keyboard, and I have played mouse keyboard with it in the past. So, a bit of practice. I mean, the pad's not hard, it's just getting used to it. I don't think I'm going to kill anybody. Not on my first match, that's for sure. You would need to dial in your buttons, dial in your settings, definitely turn up the response feedback from the right haptic pad. Um, because it's not fast enough as default. You know, you got to think about your movement sort of thing. It's not bad. I mean, literally, I'm five minutes in. Never used the controller before in my life, so could be worse if I'm honest. I mean, aiming, as you can see, takes quite a lot of doing. But I think you could do it. You'd have to practice. This is not a controller you're going to pick up and just use straight off the bat. You're going to have to get used to it. I certainly am going to have to get used to it. So let's try it with a newer game and see how it performs. Press E. Which button's E? Oh, that's different. Didn't want to do that. Um, you could practice with it. I'm going to practice with it. But the controller itself, the build quality is brilliant. It's 10 out of 10. I like the build quality. I like the packaging it came in. I like the versatility. Because obviously you can tune this thing to run like any configuration, any game. Um, you can also mimic other controllers as well as mimicking a keyboard. So, you know, it's got to be worth something, I'm that. I'm not sure if I practiced with it and added a jump button, because at the moment my character can't jump. Um, I'd be okay with it, in all honesty. Now, whether I'd want to use it instead of an Xbox One controller on a PC, I don't really know, or a DS4, to be honest. Um, I play a lot of Destiny on all the platforms. But it's definitely got scope of £4. This is a bargain. So if you've still got the option to buy one, guys, and you want to give it a go, I would give it a go. It is there. It's worth it. So full price retail on this, I think they were like £50. You'd have to think hard. You'd have to go in there knowing that you're going to have to learn what the hell to do and how to use the controller. But £4, no-brainer. Just buy it. And then have a fiddle around again. Have a practice. I mean, I just cheated then and pressed the E key because I couldn't remember what the hell was the button but um yeah so overall and like i said about an hour in i've tried it on three different games in total um i am going to give it quite a high mark this has got an eight out of ten for me because it's so customizable you can do so much with it if you're a pc gamer and you use an xbox one controller you can definitely do worse than treat yourself to one of these and try it out just be prepared to know that it's a learning curve you are not going to jump straight into this controller no chance you're going to have to learn to use the controller and um, go from there. And that's it. That's this review. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will catch you again next time. Maybe using a super controller. Maybe using a little controller. Who knows? Um, in the next video in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.